there's no other feeling like competition in the world. You can practice, you know, you can practice your heart out in front of your friends, your family, your coaches, but when you actually get in that room and compete in front of a judge, it's a whole different experience. And, and there are many, many aspects of the, the activity that are great, like the friendships and, and the learning and the traveling, all those are great, but I think the competition to me is my favorite because I'm a very competitive person and there's a chance for, for you to learn about yourself and, and just get out there and compete and you get rewarded if you work hard enough. It's just not competing. It's about getting out there, meeting new people, making friends, making family, making lifelong friends you remember for the rest of your life. The friendships that the team in general has created within the past couple of years is something that can never ever be matched. They know uh, what kind of black heels you wear, they know when you're out of pantyhose, they know your shampoo, they know everything about you. Um, you can't get a whole lot deeper than that. It's a second family. My teammates are some of, some of the greatest friends that I've ever, I've ever made. Um, without, without being part of this organization, I would not have nearly as many close friends at Western as I do. You can have so many different people, over 20 different people, yet when the time comes to, to join together and to do what you need to do, our team has seemed to do that uh, throughout this whole year. They're all a joy to be around and we do, we are sometimes like a family and so we do get on each other's nerves from time to time, but that's to be expected. But there's not a person on this team that I would replace or remove from the organization because we all work together so well as a whole and it's, we're just like a machine when we when we get together and, and try to obtain a goal. Getting, getting it perfect for competition, getting it, getting it where it needs to be for competition, it takes a lot of time. Every day, you know, I, I ran my pieces every day, practice every day. It, it takes extensive practices. It takes total dedication and, and for me that's that's great because I, I love the the pressure and the practice and you know hitting yourself until you know you get it right. But you have to learn how to balance schoolwork. You learn have to learn how to balance speech as well as any other thing that may come along with that. I'm kind of one of the paper pushers since I do debate and extemporaneous speaking. So um, the people in the computer labs hate me because I'm there all the time just printing off reams of information for reference and extent or for evidence and debate. And so that takes up a, a lot of time. We do a lot of practicing on our own peer practices. And then of course we do practicing uh, with the coaches weekly. Um, and it, it consumes a lot of time on the weekends uh, because we're always on a bus or an airplane somewhere living out of a hotel room, you know, three nights a week. But, but that's, that's part of the excitement of it. When you're sitting outside the door waiting to go in, waiting for the applause so that you can go in and do your event, um, there's a lot of time to just sit and think, remind me why I'm here. It's 7.30 in the morning. I missed all the bagels for breakfast. I don't like coffee. Um, so competition is a lot of, why am I here? And then when you get up in front of a person you may know, may not know, empty room, crowded room, um, it doesn't matter anymore because that's your element. It involves a lot. It involves so much time and so much effort. But if you put that time and effort into it, it's definitely you know, one of the greatest experiences you can ever have. I would say my shining moment uh, on the forensics team was definitely the uh, 2000 international finals in, in Paris, France. When I won uh, the international title in persuasive speaking, there was no other feeling like it, and one of my teammates uh, was was standing up there with me, and I just remember giving him the biggest hug, and it was it was such an amazing moment. Paris was amazing. I've 
I've gotten a lot of chance to travel lately with forensics, but Paris, France was definitely, you know, one that goes beyond the regular tournaments. I will remember going to the top of the Eiffel Tower with some friends and just thinking we were the kings of the world. It was, it was, it was a moment that you just don't forget. You look at the fact that very few people get a chance to do this. We had to do the Louvre like a bat out of you know where. <laughs> um, so we were trying to see the big three things. We were trying to see Winged Victory and Venus de Milo and Mona Lisa. And we got to see all of them. And then Andrew and John Allen and I were kind of bumming around the statue area. It was kind of killing time while everybody looked at Venus. And so we started taking this, these idiot pictures. One of the workers in the Louvre started following us around and was like, do, 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 something in French, oh, do that touch. And we were like, we're not touching, we're just taking dumb pictures. <laughs> so um, the fact that we can make fun of the finest art in the world, I think, is uh, shows a good deal what kind of highly qualified and uh, charismatic people that we are. But it seemed to be at that moment when we won the international title and everyone kind of it caught their eye a little more. And from that point on, I feel like the program publicly has, has it has meant so much more for the team because they've realized that not only do we compete on a state and a national level, but an international level. I feel that I've gained more than just speaking skills, oral written skills. I feel like I've achieved a lot as a person I've learned how to handle pressure. I've learned how to handle myself in front of an audience. I've learned how to manage my time. I've learned so much that this activity has given me that I, I can't look at any other activity where I've not learned so much. I've learned more about myself in terms of how I approach people, how I communicate with them, as well as technical skills that I've learned that have helped me through class. I think the forensics team has helped me become a more goal-oriented, driven, determined person. And I'll always be thankful for that. We get the opportunity uh, to travel to other universities in Indiana and Michigan and Illinois and meeting those people and developing friendships, whereas on an athletic team, you go, you compete, and you leave. We're there for a couple of days, and we have a lot of time to sit down and talk with these people and learn who these people are that are in the same boats as we are and are doing the same thing, waking up at 5 o'clock on Saturday mornings to go and do what a lot of people fear, which is speaking in public. And we go and we have that common bond, and we learn to develop friendships from that. I am a broadcasting major. Um, I go on my first job interview tomorrow, wish me luck. And um, for my chosen career, it's critical that you learn to speak fluently and be able to ad-lib in crisis situations. Um, otherwise known as impromptu speaking. So um, it's helped me learn to communicate, but more importantly, it's given me critical thinking skills. I love to act. I love to perform. I, I love to move people. I see myself as a director, a writer, a producer, and a successful actor. Only gained through this program. I would say if you love the activity, Western Kentucky University is definitely the place to come and compete. Um, you have a marvelous coaching staff. You're surrounded by people who have the same love and, and thirst for competition that you do and the same drive and the willingness to put forth a lot of effort. I would say to anyone anyone, no matter who they are, that they should definitely give forensics a try. If you have a chance to learn more about it from people who have devoted their life to teaching others how to communicate more effectively, why not jump on it? To me, throughout my four years, speech has been meeting other people and learning how to make myself a better communicator. And that's what you're going to take away with it. You're not going to take away trophies, although you'll have those sitting in your house. You're going to take something much more in-depth than just having the trophies and having the wins. It they can think, yeah, wow, she did limited prep. Yeah, she did debate. Wow, she went overseas twice and was on the international championship team. But it doesn't mean anything if you're a winner if you don't know how to lose. And I have lost <laughs> many, many more times than I've won. Remember the night Remember the feeling Remember the magic
I feel that I worked pretty hard this year to, to achieve the, the personal goals that I've set for myself, and I've, I have achieved many of them, and um, I'd like people to remember that determination and the love that, that I do have for, for the competition. And I want them to look back and say, you know, he wasn't here just for the competition. He was here because he's a, he's a people person, and he, he likes the activity. I think what I would want people to remember about me is someone who through thick or thin, always had a smile on his face and was always just ready to go and ready to do what I had to do to get the job done. I hope people think of me as someone that they genuinely liked and cared for and felt that I wanted good things. I, I, didn't, think, I didn't think the year would, would turn out this well, but we uh, so far won a national championship, a world championship, a state championship this year and uh, so it's meant being part of an organization that is basically technically the best in the world. This is the most critical skill you can learn. If you can communicate, if you can make other people understand your ideas and in turn understand what they're trying to impart to you, you have learned the most important skill of any business skill or any other professional uh, goal that you could be striving for. We are among the best in the world and that's a pretty good feeling to know that you're, you're part of a, of a championship team like that, a team that's that high a caliber. It involves a lot, it involves so much time and so much effort, but if you put that time and effort into it, it's definitely you know, one of the greatest experiences you can ever have.